What's up guys and welcome to another vlog. Anyone want to take a wild guess where we are? We have the beautiful old Ibiza town in the background and I'm back once again for the annual trip to Ibiza. It is this time of the year where I celebrate my birthday. I'll be turning 33. Can you believe that? 33 years old. So just checked into the Sir Juan Hotel. This is one of my personal favorites. First of all, because the location is literally a 10 minute walk to the old town. Also a five, 10 minute walk to the marina with all the bougie restaurants. We're also very close to Pacha as well. I feel like the marina is a little bit more classy, a little bit more upmarket. So this is usually the place where I stay nowadays. Today, we are going to be going on a big boat very shortly. Obviously I want to celebrate the way I always like to celebrate in style. Yo, good. Morning indeed. What a day we have ahead. So I imagine this is gonna be the party area where everyone will be absolutely on one in a couple of hours time. Hello. Hello. Big dog. You good? You good? Yeah. Yeah, I'm right now. You're right now, what do you mean? Hey. Hello. <laughs> Pretty large. We basically got loads of space. There's absolutely no problem with that. The problem with boats in Ibiza, a lot of them only have a license to carry 12 people when it's moving. It's a little bit different from Dubai, but we managed to source this one, which can hold 30 people, which is absolutely perfect. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Where's my balloon? Be careful. I know be careful, but more surprise. Three, two, one. First of the day, what do you think of the boat so far? It's a spacious one. Very room, spacious. Room for lots of activities. People can hide in different, there's 24 bedrooms on board. <laughs> Seven floors. I don't know if you can see them all on the video, but thanks Uncle Mike no for inviting me and Wendy today. Do you know what it is? I just want everyone to have a sick time. Like I know I will have a good time regardless, but I want to bring everyone together, everyone to just be absolutely on one. And to make some memories that are gonna last forever. We're all gonna be on one, trust me. By the way, Congra Cindy can Congratulations, one me. year more in your life. <laughs> yourself, you're strong, you're made. Sometimes this um, time is difficult. It is, it's a difficult time. <laughs> oh, wait, not recording. <laughs> Do you think you can drink more severe than Mike? Mm. No, you, you really can't. I think so, huh? only one for today, no? One or beer. how many beer? No, I'll probably have a few. Okay, you broke a rules today? Breaking rules today. Oh, <laughs> yeah, today, today we break many rules. <laughs> But Cindy can keep up with Lou. I she heard drinks it. exactly. so much. So I, I am no influencer, but but influencer, yes. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Lou is going to be DJing today. I'm doing another you know best thing under my decks. Chris, come and have a look at this. I've got unlimited beers. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I know what I can uh, say. I'll just literally not move from here all day. <laughs> Quite a few people who come to Ibiza, they never actually go to the smaller island next to it, which is Formentera. Formentera, the water is insanely blue. It's like, you can compare it to the Maldives, it's crazy. You can either get a massive ferry over there, which is a little bit annoying, but if you can charter a little private boat, or a big one, drop the anchor here, spend the day, either have a chef on board, or go to one of the many restaurants, many overpriced restaurants in Formentera. It's just like, in my opinion, you can't top it. One of the best things you can do.
Okay. Oh, There'll be no indoor training today. We'll be getting topless straight away and heading outdoors. So we have just touched down at the iconic Nirvana Beach Gym. There's actually a lot more options to choose from in terms of gyms in Ibiza, but I like to come back here every now and then just to reminisce the good times. The first time I ever came here was probably like 10 years ago. It is looking very similar in terms of the condition. I think they've brought some of the indoor machines outdoors and got some new indoor machines, got some new AstroTurf. It's not the uh, most luxurious, but can you really beat that? We're literally training on the beach, overlooking the water. So today, I think we'll be doing a nice little chest and back session off one of the programs on a Thursday. It is a little bit warm. We're gonna get sweaty, but we're gonna get an absolutely phenomenal pump, which is just what we need. Allow me to start my timer on the Whoop app. I've been using this for two years pretty much, religiously, maybe even more than that. If anyone's wondering what this strap is, literally glued to my wrist 24 seven. If anyone's interested, which I know you are, I mean, obviously all of you should be training on the Thirst app because it is the best app in the game for getting absolutely yonked. But check this, strength trainer on Whoop. Oh, we got Mike Thurston's training program on there. This is actually a bicep and tricep routine, but this is something if you haven't got the app, but you have Whoop, you could try it out on Whoop first, and then you'll realize, oh my God, this is so good, I should get the app. Worth the try if you want jacked arms. Use the link in the description if you want to get your first month for free. I'm gonna do a bit of incline pressing on arguably the sturdiest bench on the island. Right, what do we have here? <laughs> Absolutely no idea. Don't know what it is, every time I come here, I end up being in like the best condition. I think that is down to, first of all, <laughs> Well, first of all, I do a lot more walking. So every day, I'll probably do about 10,000 more steps than I would do back in Dubai or wherever I am. And this is interesting, the dancing. Right, so when I went to Ashwaya, I spent three hours, three, four hours dancing at Ashwaya. Whoop, said I burnt 2,000 calories. Same thing yesterday, went out for a little boogie, only for one hour, Whoop, said I burnt 500 calories. So the expenditure in Ibiza is absolutely wild. I'm very consistent with the training. I eat what I can, but it's that expenditure which gets me absolutely healed. Initially, I was thinking this machine is going to be trash. It's actually all right. So that was a great workout, hot one, sweaty one, the humidity has come back with a vengeance to the island. Now we're just gonna stop over and see my good friend Louis Armstrong. In case you didn't know, Louis was my previous cameraman, but he has gone off on his own path. He's actually been living on this island for like a year and a half. Absolutely no idea how he's managed that, but he has. Terrible place to live, guys. <laughs> it's a terrible and great place to live. But if you want to do anything it's mostly terrible, mostly terrible. I'm highly stressed because I'm trying to get all my work done before tomorrow, but it's just looking impossible. <laughs> no, clean it. Clean it for my arrival. Yeah. It is a pretty dope apartment. Right, so what do you want me to cook? Uh, can I have a Japanese omelette, please? Yeah. 
<laughs> nah, we don't know any cooking in here. We eat at KFC every day. We go out for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and spend an absolute fortune on the Ibiza prices. The next video that you'll see from me is the cost of living in Ibiza. I'm gonna make it a three part series. It's the reason I'm absolutely skinny. <laughs> Looks like you live off these uh, ghost subs. Yeah, well, Mike came all the way here just to get this. Yeah. I'm currently not sponsored by any protein or supplement brand, so I do what I want. I hope that's clean, boss. Yeah, just clean it. I've made it with love, ice, and oh, the, the ice yeah. cubes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I didn't fancy one of those 500 calorie wider ones. Wider. 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 Oh, yeah, cinnamon flavor, whole time. It's the best flavor ever. Do you put two scoops in? Mm, one and a quarter. One and a quarter. You got to put another scoop in that right now. Why do you want to? Yes, because I'm drastically under my protein intake every single day. It's so hard over here because I'm only I probably eat like three meals a day if I'm lucky. No way I'm getting 75 grams per meal. I've been going to the Latino restaurant with Cindy every day. Get like beans, rice, and plantain. <laughs> oh, that's South, that's the South American. Really. <laughs> <laughs> There's loads of nice Latinas there. Steep stairs. I can't believe how clean it is. Guys, it's never this clean. As far as rooftops go, it's a pretty decent rooftop. Over here, we can see a Schweier Tower. Hi, just behind that. There's some mountains this side, and then all the plain and Bossa Beach over here. And honestly, if, you, if you're coming here and you want to get stuck into the parties, then this is the area you want to be. How is life here, Lou? It's good. I love it. I actually prefer it in the winter when there's no one here. Yeah. And this whole beach, sometimes in the winter, there's not a single person on it the whole day. So you just have it to yourself. And the weather's still nice. Better, but this, this rooftop has seen <laughs> many a party. Pre-parties, after parties, sunrise parties, sunset parties. Every type of party you could ever <laughs> possibly imagine. <laughs> sometimes like, sometimes I'll just like go downstairs in my house and like, so I've seen some people hang around on the roof and then sometimes I'll just go downstairs and like, there'll just be like loads of people in there that like I've never even seen or have no idea how they got in my house. Because <laughs> like everyone just invites different people. It was like a Australian like BJJ wrestler in there, just like getting some guy in a headlock one day and I was like, who the hell are you? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we are halfway through the trip, and as I had planned, I wanted to stay somewhere a little bit peaceful and out of the way of the craziness, because sometimes it does get a little bit too crazy in Ibiza. So I've come to the other side of the island, which is about a 25 minute drive from the place I was staying before, the marina, played in Bossa, to a place called Petunia. And that's the first time I've come here, I've heard very good things about it, so I decided to book this place and stay for a couple of days. And I must say, I am not disappointed. I'll give you a very quick tour. You can stay here, obviously, but it's also a really cool place to have dinner or even a few drinks on the rooftop terrace. So we're gonna quickly have a look at that. Such a sleepy cat. Sorry. I'm oh, sorry. A bit of a vibe. So obviously when the sun has gone down a little bit and it's not absolutely roasting, it's a very pleasant place to eat and look at Esvedra over there. An absolutely iconic, highly magnetic spot. Very, very different from the vibes of playing in Bossa. Sensational vibes, so nice. It's crazy to think as well, so many people come to this island and they never really go out and explore. There's literally so many hidden gems. It's one of the reasons why I like this island so much, because there is so many options. Like if you want to go and party, you can go to some of the best parties in the world. If you want to go and chill, hide away, be surrounded by nature and amazing beauty, you can do that as well. You're doing crypto? Bit forex trading. As you do. <laughs> now I'm putting some tunes on because we're about to do a shoot. I have not been a part of the shoot earlier today and yesterday, but apparently it went very well. Really, really nice. He's like, 
he's lost. He's lost. Yeah. But I'm getting involved in this one. But you know what I'm loving about him? How he's like matchy matchy. Oh my god, look at that, the purple as well. <laughs> Holy shit. Shout out to Wu. Yeah, this is the, the, the room we're staying in. I'll give you a little a minor tour. Mm. Cute and cozy. Get out. <laughs> Hello. The view is the most important. Part. Yeah, get, there's like a few different rooms, different options to choose from. This one is probably one of the better ones because of the sheer outdoor space we have. Over there, there's the balcony from the room, which has a little seating area. We have another seating area here overlooking this bedroom. And then we have like a massive terrace here, which allows you to do some nude tanning. And yes, I have been tanning my ass earlier on this morning because uh, it's extremely white. But we're also going to be doing a, a shoot here for the first campaign because it's just different vibes from the nature shots we've had so far. So just wrapped up a very successful shoot. I got involved with this one. I usually get involved with them quite frequently, but I'm trying to kind of move away from being in every single one because I don't really want to be the face of the brand. I want other people to also be the face of the brand as well. So shout out to those guys from Germany for getting involved. I usually do this a couple of times a year where I give you guys, the viewers, an opportunity to get involved with these campaigns, which we are doing. And it turns out this one in Ibiza, we had the most interest in because a lot of you guys who follow me actually turn out to be in Ibiza at this time of year. So uh, that was good. And of course, you guys, thank you very much for supporting the brand. It's growing and doing better than ever. We just had the release of the toweling shirts, which were a huge success, which I'm not surprised about because they are a personal favorite of mine. I'm literally wearing those toweling shirts during the day and if I'm going out at night as well. Now we are going to get ready very quickly because we're gonna have dinner at the rooftop restaurant, which I've heard very good things about. I think you can go there just for a couple of drinks and to chill. Um, you could also get food as well. So I'm looking forward to that because I'm very hungry. And I think the guys are also very hungry as well because they have been restricting themselves so that they look in tip top shape for the shoot. So we're gonna go and tuck in. Good morning, everybody. Had a delightful sleep. Not a single sound was heard throughout the night, which was absolutely amazing. We have two more days left on the island, so I'm gonna make the most of it. Explore, relax, tan, eat good food, spend some quality time with my friends, some of whom I won't be seeing for a very long time again. And, um, saying goodbye to the crew. Chris is leaving, so no more cameraman for this trip. So I'm gonna call it a day with the vlog and finish it here so that I can be present and in the moment. So thank you all for watching. Thank you as well for all the celebration messages, birthday celebration messages, which I've received over the past couple of days. And uh, big love for everyone showing support to the app and the clothing brand. See you in the next video.